Welcome to The Prince Eats. Here's a quick video for mackerel stew. Ingredients are in the description. If you enjoyed this video and find it helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Mackerel stew is very simple and easy to prepare, and in this video, I'll give tips and tricks for success. The first thing you need to do is get your hands on some fresh mackerel. Here I have Spanish mackerel that I purchased at a seafood market. For this recipe, I'll be frying the fish in my air fryer. You can choose to fry yours the traditional way, but I find that using the air fryer cuts down on a lot of oil. Season your fish generously with fish seasoning, and when you're done, put your fish to the side. Grab the pan you'll use to cook your stew. Turn the heat on medium. Add your butter and allow it to melt. Dump in your onions and allow them to cook for a few minutes until tender or slightly brown. Here's what I mean by slightly brown. You don't want them to overcook because after all, they'll cook a little bit more in the stew. Your pot should be slightly dry at this point. Add a little bit of cooking oil and then your curry and chili powder. Fry that chili powder and curry for approximately 30 seconds to one minute. Once fried, add a little bit more cooking oil and prepare to fry your sauce. I recommend using a spoon to carefully place the sauce into the pot because after all, we're working with hot oil and this will prevent splashing. Here I'm using roasted red pepper and plum tomatoes. Once you have the sauce poured into the pan, give it a stir so that the sauce evenly combines with the oil. Your simmer should have reduced slightly, so use this opportunity to add the remaining seasonings. Carefully stir in your seasonings. Cover and let the stew simmer for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. After that time, uncover your stew and give it a stir. You want to use the push method. Essentially what that is is taking your utensil and pushing the stew from side to side, carefully scraping the bottom of the pan. If your stew is too thick, add a little bit of chicken stock. Again, use the push technique for stirring. This reduces splashing. Cover again and allow to simmer for approximately five minutes. After that time, give it another stir just to ensure the stew isn't sticking to the bottom of the pot. At this point, the stew is cooked and we're at the home stretch. You can go ahead and begin to carefully place your fish into the stew. Go ahead and turn off the heat. At this point, the stew and the fish are done. We're just using this time to warm the fish before serving. Carefully add the onions on top of the fish. You can feel free to submerge the onions in the stew. I always like to taste test to check the salt level. Add salt as you desire. And just like that, you're done. You have a stew that gets better after every reheat, and this is a great value dish. Dinner is served. Visit theprinceeats.com for more simple and easy meal ideas just like this one.